Yes, this is Dr. Bob Thiel again. This is part three of our series on natural versus synthetic vitamins. And in this video, I want to talk about folate versus folic acid. Years ago, actually in December 2000, I had a paper published in Medical Hypotheses explaining why vitamins are better if they're natural compared to synthetic. Now, when I had this paper published, one of the studies I had looked at said that the human body was only capable of converting 266 micrograms of folic acid into usable methylfolate. You say, okay, so? Well, folic acid is synthetic. It doesn't come from nature. It's a petroleum derivative, and it's used as a synthetic form of vitamin B9 in lots of supplements. You say, but oh, I've heard lots about folic acid and why people should take it and how it can help uh, brain function, how it can help uh, pregnant women. Well, if you're deficient in folate, vitamin B9, yes, your body will utilize some of it, and yes, you'll get some benefit. But that's not optimal. There's a lot of reasons why it's not. And after that paper came out in Medical Hypotheses, a few years later, I saw some research from the British Medical Journal warning about dangers associated with uh, folic acid. It noted that th these type of dangers did not exist with food folate, but folic acid possibly cause neurological problems as well as some problems associated with absorption of vitamin B12. I was intrigued by that and I had a paper published back in 2004 called Folic Acid May Be Hazardous to Your Health. And I went through that and I explained some of the, some of the concerns. Later, in the year 2000, more research came out explaining more dangers associated with folic acid. What do you mean more dangers? I had this paper published in a chiropractic journal called The Original Internist. Here I am. And you'll notice the name is Folic Acid is Hazardous to Your Health. Originally I wrote it may be hazardous to your health. Why did I switch from it may be hazardous to your health to Folic Acid is hazardous to your health? Because more studies came out. More research has come out. There was a study in the Journal of the American Medical Association that said folic acid did not have cardiovascular protective effects, but folates, which were found in food, did. You say, okay, well, that doesn't prove that folic acid is hazardous to your health. That's true, but it does give some indications that folates, such as found in foods, are superior. Furthermore, I'd like to read some research here. Here's a 2010 report. The more we learn about folic acid, the more it's clear that giving it to everyone has real health risks, very real health risks. That's giving it to everyone, and that's what we're doing now. With food fortification, we are adding folic acid to a lot of grain products, especially the refined ones. And this is what uh, was said by folic acid researcher David Smith. He's a PhD professor of pharmacology at the University of Oxford in England. Okay, so he says it's dangerous to give it to everyone. Last year, health officials in Chile reported that hospitalization rates for colon cancer among men and women aged 45 and up more than doubled in the country since they started fortification with folic acid in the year 2000. What? Yes. That's telling me, at least, and others, that folic acid supplementation, not, but fortification, seems to increase the risk for colon cancer. It's also been implicated in prostate cancer and breast cancer. Now I'm not saying that if you get a little bit of folic acid it's going to cause cancer, but I am saying that since the human body on average can only convert 266 micrograms of folic acid into usable methylfolate in a day, and the recommended daily intake of food folate is 400 micrograms a day, and many folate, folic acid containing supplements contain 400, 800 micrograms, some uh, three or four times that much. I think it's a very real risk that unless people have severe folic acid deficiencies, they shouldn't consider taking folic acid. They should eat foods that are high in folate, or if they want supplementation, they should consider taking supplements that are made out of 100% food, not ones that contain petroleum derivatives and, and forms of chemicals, of vitamins such as folic acid. Because folic acid does not exist in any natural food. It's a humanly created substitute, vitamin analog. And while it does have some positive effects in small quantities, 
I believe, and other researchers are agreeing with me, that it is dangerous at high quantities, and I don't think anybody should, should take it for their health. Uh, if, if people want to take supplements, fine. There are vitamins made out of food. We distribute uh, the food, food brand vitamins. Those are 100% food. There's no isolated ascorbic acid, no isolated folic acid, none of, none of that, none of those USB isolates in any of the products that we distribute. But people don't realize that the real reason that synthetic vitamins were developed was not because they were better, but because they were cheaper. And that's one of the reasons why that they were used. Another reason was, was to standardize the, the quantity. It was easier to standardize a synthetic than it was to standardize the quantity of a vitamin in a, in a food. But humans eat foods. People have eaten foods for thousands of years, and eating food folate does not cause cancer. But I can't say that's true about folic acid. Taking folic acid is risky. It's dangerous. And if you want to know more of the risks, this paper here, uh, Folic Acid is Hazardous to Your Health, is available at our website, www.doctorsresearch.com. That's www.doctorsresearch.com. If you don't have it, you, you ought to read it. And if any of your patients have questions about folic acid, or at least they're concerned about the potential dangers of taking folic acid, I'd refer them to the website and again tell everybody they should try to get their nutrients from food and if they need supplements, they should only take supplements that are made of 100% foods, such as the food brand that we distribute at Doctors Research.